random stuff that she wanted us to get. So let's go talk to her. Hi, nurse. I need three mil. I, I got all that. Here you go. You place a sloshing jar of Angor uh, in the nurse's hands. It uh, she inspects it. And sex. Inspect? That's not inspect, is it? Yeah, it's expect. Okay. You place a sloshing jar in the, of Angor in the nurse's hands. She expects it uh, suspiciously, but doesn't ask where it came from. I'll need three. Yeah, I got that shit. I got toxic. Uh. Whatever. Off a few spine, uh, piney, spiny, uh, thistle and pass them to the nurse. She can She is careful not to prick herself on the shop ends. Here you go. Some lazy grass. You take the, uh, the nurse takes the dry grass you have been so careful to keep intact and immediately crush them into powder. The nurse nods at you, gathering all the ingredients into a small hand-sized mortar. You hold your breath as she mashes everything into a slight, slimy, stinky liquid. Not the most pleasant stuff, but I assure you it will beat growing lumps when no lump should be. <laughs> Speak for yourself. One can never have enough lumps. Uh, the nurse shrugs at you, sucking up the bubbly mixture into a oversized syringe. She gestured for you to hold your arm to your arm. After stabbing you into the flesh several times, she fails to find any veins with the point- I gotta talk about that. Uh, the point of the needle. Sorry, you seem to have some th some strange physiology. Uh, just give it here, I'll do it. You seize the injector and jab it into your arms without further fuss. A cool sensation climbs into your fingertips. You doubt the medicine will have any effect, but at least it should make the nurse happy. There, I feel much better now. Can I go inside? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. You should be immune to the plague for the time being. Just be quick and, uh, the leech will be is very busy. Cool. Um, my dad got stabbed, like, three times from the nurse because she, like failed for his veins because you can't get a lot of blood from his veins and stuff stabbed him the first time was perfect failed at it somehow that's his story but um and then the second second time was um she stabbed him no blood so she had to take it out stab him one more time there was blood she got what she needed and then continued three big blues bruises when he came home actually let me rephrase that i was in the waiting room waiting for him i can uh he comes back from the doctors i see him all patched up like, like, you know, cotton balls, like, with duct tape and stuff like that on you. Like, how they do that. They did it for his arms and one on, uh, both of his hands and one in his arms. And I'm just like, you went to war. And he's like, I did. I fought. The nurse did not know what she was doing. She stabbed me a couple of times. I felt so bad because even though his veins are po poking out, uh, she knew what she was doing. I mean, she got three times. It's just, you know, his veins are very bad and doesn't draw blood. I swear to God, he's a vampire. I, I, every time I see him and stuff like that, I'm just like, dude, are you either a zombie, a vampire, or a werewolf? I cannot tell with this man. And then I'm just like, please tell me before I, I reach my second puberty and, like, you know, so I was eating people. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. The doctor slithers. Uh, that is very weird. From one patient to another, checking off little boxes of the clipboard. Uh, from under her wide brimming hat... She appears to notice that you may uh you enter but pay no mind. Pay no mind. You must be the leech. I was hoping that you could help me find your patients. Do you have the symptoms? Crackling of bones, oozing eyes, skin raw, perhaps a yellow liver? Let me examine you. The leech extend her toothy snout, uh parting your body and searching for something hidden of uh, uh, malice. I don't know. You slap her away with swift palm. If the, it's the sickness you're looking for, you won't find it on me. My dear, we're all sick with something. Whether it's broken hearts or broken arms, we're all suffering in one way or another. You peer through her uh, tightly wrapped garments and see darkness underneath it. Despite the warmth in her words, there's a sense of hunger and urgency in her tone. I am here to heal, to mend, to put all your troubles at ease. Now, tell me what ails you. Ails you. I told you already, I'm perfectly in health. I'm sure to find uh, someone, a man who came through with a sprained ankle. Half the patients who came to me twisted this or broken that uh, before the pot sets. In in um, in that is. Can you be more specific? What does he look like? Oh, I uh, I'm not sure. Well then, how do you expect me to help you? Come back when you know exactly who you're looking for. 
You look at the sick house, at um, at the coughing, wheezing, bitridden souls. Perhaps some of them will identify the missing husband. I don't know. I miss that man with the be uh, with bread. You don't know where that short fellow got, eh? I don't know. Ugh. It's the beady guy you're looking for. A bearded guy you're looking for? Okay. There was a fellow with dark hair and, and uh, dark, eye dark hair and dark eyes. They are sleeping. Looks like they could use uh, the rest. That's good. Uh, a husband, yes. He had a darker complexion than me. Huh. I feel like she's eating them. I feel like she's eating them. Can't find the short guy. Sorry, I can't help you. Oof. You don't know where that short fellow got to, eh? So he's a short fellow, dark hair, dark eyes. Uh, it's the birdie guy you're looking for? This guy? The patient just stares into the distant silence. Are you sure it's not everything? You seem dark. Oh, yes. I'm taking show shit. I don't give a shit. You can get it back somehow. I will leave it you. Okay, well, I couldn't find anybody. A description of the husband to the sick folks. I already did that. I talked to everybody. Hmm. Huh. Am I missing something? Can't find the short guy. Spam, spam. The patient just stares in silence. <sighs> Did you want me to talk to her again? Let me talk to Leech again. I, I went twice, too. Yo, I talked to everybody. Well, do you have any better ideas of who exactly you're looking for? Shorter than most. Quite tall. Around average. Right? Shorter than most. I'm going to need a bit more uh, information than that. Has a fair dark in features. Narrowing it down. Give me something else. Has a mustache. Keeps himself clean. Has a full beard. Uh, ah, yes. I remember that poor man now. He came in with a swollen ankle. But on his journey through the swamp, he must have uh, contracted the plague. His condition declines rapidly. I'm so sorry to say this. In the end, there wasn't much I can do for him except make him uh, comfortable. He's dead? What sort of sort of house is this anyways? My condolences, really. Now, if you excuse me, I want to go back. To, I have to go back to doing what I was doing, uh, what I can make for a living. At least tell me where his wife uh, can, might collect his body. The nurse outside seems to be having trouble keeping track of all of them. Oh, I'm sorry. That information is reserved for the next can. Uh, j can, can, can? No, because that's the E. Uh, let me see this. I'm sorry for that information is reserved for the next can. Judging by your physique, I, w I. W wouldn't say you related to the deceased in the slightest. The doctor turned away from the prepared vital uh, to from you to the prepare prepare. Do this again. The doctor turned away from you to prepare vitals uh, of medicine. Be better return to the old woman in the swamp with bad news. Ah, uh, that's kind of awful. He came in for just an ankle, a sprained ankle at that. How would he contact you? But I'd be like, you did get sick. And going to a doctor's office, man. I hate going to a doctor's office so much because, like, I don't want to get sick too much. Take a shower before, take a shower after, you know? Just, like, talk to them and then leave as fast as you possibly can. Man, anyways, let's go get these. I might as well collect stuff while I'm here. Collect mushrooms, too, because this is especially something where it's like, hey, I need these mushrooms. Anyways, where's the old lady? Oh, woman in the swamp, the bad news. She's gonna be weeping. She's gonna be sad. She's gonna be miserable. What the fuck are you? Bye. Goodbye. I'm not dealing with your ass. I'm going to the white lady in the swamp. What the fuck are you? Okay, um, to the right, I guess. To the right, to the right. Nope, not it. Nope, nope, it is. Huh. Hi, do you have any news about my husband? He should be back uh, from the sick list by now. Sick house by now. You bow the head in consolence. I'm sorry to say that your husband has passed away. The leech said that he fell ill with the plague. Rather than grief, an expression of uh, mild annoyance crossed the woman's face. Oh, what a nuisance. You don't seem that upset about the news. Well, he was getting on in years, and I was it was bound to happen sooner or later. I just don't think it would, would be from some measly plague of all things. So, where is the fool now? 
I'm not sure. The leech wouldn't tell me, but her assistants mentioned about having to dispose of all the dead bodies in the swamp. Uh, fine stones and uh, better snatch. Better snatch. I know, I'm already in your debt, sister, but can I ask you for another favor? I suppose I already stuck my foot in this mess. What is it? Uh, there's a old circle of power just west of here. It serves me well, um, in my younger years, and I expected it, uh, to still go, uh, get some, get, got some juice left. I need you to dust it off and fire it up again. I'll go do it myself, but... By the time I get there, my poor husband's body would already be reduced by warm spots. <sighs> what am I to do with the circle? Lass. The engravings on the obelisk should explain the rest. Nice. Okay, we'll go over there. Obelisk into the swamp. I don't know where the hell that would be, but I mean, okay. We'll go up then, I guess. There's dead bodies. like this at all <sighs> I just have to deal with that leech again oh hello ah enemy I thought you were cute I thought you were a friend I thought you were a friend I'm sorry okay you know for some reason everybody calls me grotesque and like it's um uh, swine not swine whatever the other word was a crow um shouldn't I be like with friends with lots of scary monsters you know Shouldn't I be like that one? Like they like okay, I match you guys. Are we friends? Anyways, hello. How are you? Troll. Oh, it's a troll. A fat troll sits uh squarely in the middle of the bridge, busy scratching an inch on his back with a falling tree. His un uh match grip uh blocks that path forward. I can swim, you know. Out of the way, you big uh gloof. His mass and release a loud fart as your attempt to circumvent him. We're fine. Keep your bridge. I'll come back when the vapors have disbanded, disparted. Um, you want me to do something about that? Smoke? You want me to smoke them or something like that? I don't think any of these would be fine. Let's see, see what kind of... Do you think he... Perhaps he likes you. Huh. Oh, well, I mean, like, if I trap him, then he can move. Um... I don't really think going back to the area would be self-sufficient, but I don't know where else to go in the swamp. I could just go ahead and look at my map and see. Where does she want me to go? Is this it? An entrance in Milky Way? No, it's not. Is this it? In the, ca in the care of the leech. The garden ritual. Um... I am lost. This is a sick house. I don't think I'm supposed to go to the sick house. I really don't like their foul practices. It just seems like everybody's getting wrapped up and become mummified. She looks hungry and she looks like she's eating everybody to be honest, to be frank. What's over here? The blanket of thick moss and lichen from the ancient uh, magical patterns carved into the earth. The essence of power wakes a at your touch, bringing the slight warmth to your fingertips. Four black stones, a bliss link, uh, surrounds the ritual spot. You need to scrape off more overgrown decay to read the ru runic lettering engraved on the surfaces. Can I not like read it at all before? Did I already read it? I don't have whatever that is. I need to collect shit. What is that shit? That is a lot. From the swamp of all places too. I don't even know how the hell to do that, any of that. That's certificate of the leech. From the leech. Okay, so I need a death certificate from the leech. I can talk to her about it. Um, See how that fares out. I don't know how to do a charm. Do I have the grim wolf for that? We have this spirit salt. We need whatever that thing is. It's this thing. I'm wearing powder. Oh, I can kill those guys. That much be easier that way. We can do that later, though, because we're not really in need of that. Oh, look. We need this. Oh, we actually can get that. Oh, and what about this? Uh, what? No, 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 no. What is that? From the fields? Pumpkins. And then it's craftable. Can I craft that? Oh, it's just, it's just that. Okay. 
So we need one of those, but we need pumpkin, technically. And then we need... Okay, so we can totally do this in the next episode. We can't... We don't know about the thing. That's the only problem. I don't know about the thing, though. Because I don't know who that's from. Do I have to, like, fight, fight someone with it? No, let's just go back to talk to her. Because I need a death certificate. A shadowy doctor prowls up on amongst the cots, eyeing the weakest patient with a dark hunger. She snaps a quivering tentacle at you as you approach. Can I take a step closer? You know who, uh, what sort of disgusting malice uh, you might be carrying? Yes, yes, I'm a po pox written wrench, I know, but I need a death certifi certificate from you. Specifically, of the short bearded man we spoke about, his wife has no condition to to uh, roll her chair through the swamp. She asked me to collect it for her. I simply do not give out death certificates to anyone who's claiming to be someone's aunt, grandma, or friend. This is legitimate operation. She turns her back to you, wandering through the, a, near uh, a nearby medical closet. Now, where he has the serum go got to? Don't tell me we'll be already out. What's the matter? Oh, Stark, a shame you don't have time to go out for yourself. She turns such your continuous presence. A uh, persistence? I don't know. Uh, what are you getting at? I'm asking for that death certificate. I think that's fair. A trade, don't you? Uh, you would pattern with, uh, you would batter with people's lives on the line, huh? Fine. Your pap you will have your paperwork, you filthy degenerate. Clearly too angry to speak with you. She says a list requiring uh, medical supplies into your hands. Uh, dragon wings? Okay, well, here's that thing. Leeches. I, you know what? It's leeches. I gotta go. We, we don't have enough time. We didn't get any of this shit. I know we have three of these already, so we should be fine with that. Oh, it makes it much faster by spamming it. Wow. Okay, cool. And then I need, um... I need dragonfly's wings. I think I need meat for the dragonfly's wings, to be frank. Yes, I made four. I know that. The reason why I wanted to make four is because one more is going to make it so that if I die from trying to kill these... I, I, if I die from killing these dragonflies, I will um, I will be able to use one without trying to craft them and freak out 24-7, basically. Um, I think the dragonflies... Does it need? Oh, these are meat stick for dragonflies, I think. Let's go try and see if I can find it. There it is. I think it's a meat stick. Yep. Okay, it's cool. We need to go to my grimoire and we gotta get a meat stick. I can't craft it unless I get meat. And the only way to get meat is to go to that one area to go get it. Okay, we're on the next adventure. Bye, I guess. I don't really have any meat again. Uh, get away from me. Uh uh, I'm not dealing with you guys, you piece of shits. Uh, leave me alone. Alone. This is what I had to literally do when I was, um, you know, off camera and stuff like that, trying my best to get like the other stuff and was like screaming, leave me alone, I don't want to fight you, or stuff like that. The entire fucking time. It drove me crazy. But we're slowly getting it. We're just getting like the one lady's uh, thing. I need to go here to the fields. This will make it so that I can get the uh, meat that I need. I think I killed one thing, but I forgot what I killed for meat, though. And I cried about it. No, I think it was... I think it was the bird of squirrel or something. I need meat, though. So, we're here again, I guess. It's so peaceful. And I need pumpkins, too. But I don't know how to fight pumpkins too much. I think pumpkins are up here. That's someone else, which actually, I think I do need this thing from the fields. Well. Choop. I think I need grains. I don't know. Choop. I don't think so. Hey, I was just cleaning for your straight lines that you have. And it was just in the way, and I wanted to help you. That's the only reason why I would take it from you, you know? <laughs> you would never know I was just here for my own gains. <laughs> she, has, she has that type of personality that she'll really be brutal honest with you and be like, yeah, I'm here for my personal gains. Shut up. Give it to me. Now. And you just be like, what is happening most of the time? Clothes? That's not what I want. I want pumpkins. Hmm. I'm gonna want it since I've been over here. And now I'm really confused with everything. Tiss, tiss. 
here is something. I gotta get this chicken. I can't kill this chicken. I don't know whether or not to be disappointed or not with that. Anyways, let's just see if I can do weakness on you. Not entirely unlike a chicken, the aesthetics prefers of preference of someone. Oh. So I can't really kill you. Okay, so I have to capture uh, birds and stuff like that. I don't need to go over there right now. Uh, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. What do you- what, do you give me meat? I think so. I'm going to have to torture you. Let's go get a snare and let's see how that would be. Let's go ahead and spam that too. Do we have a lot? I think we need five. Oh, I clicked it too many times. Oh, I mean, we can get five at the end. Not now. See? See? Um, I'm doing great. <laughs> let's see if this gives us meat. If not, it's gonna suck. There we go. Uh, I think you're a little too- Wow, you're like fucking right there. I'm so shocked about it. Yeah, I know. It's like, why? I hate every second of that. I think I'm going to have to go off camera for the get all the meat. This is way too shocking. I, it hurts my feelings a lot. It hurts the bird. The bird's dead. <laughs> it's not as shocking. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're going back to the swamp. We got everything that we needed over there, I think. We didn't get pumpkins. Fuck. Well, no, I'm trying my best to get the medicine for the one lady. So we can get it. I think I think we have everything. We need to put a meat and stick for the dragonfly's wing, so we should be fine to get more of the lower. I just needed to get that thing. God, I hate it. I hate it so much. Anyways, that's not you. I don't want you. I don't want even to be near you, you fucker. I need a dragonfly. I need to be close to a dragonfly? I don't really know. I don't, okay, I see. There we go. This, I kind of don't feel bad, but I really don't understand how that explodes, to be honest. I got a feather. Cool. I think that's really all we need for them. So let's go ahead and go to them. Whee! Man. Isn't it safer to be outside than inside? With all the sick people, but then again... Uh, at least she's taking it seriously. She seems like she's doing good because she needed medicine and stuff like that. She didn't like say she just couldn't do it by herself. So, you know, I think it's down. Anyways, here, clearly too angry to speak with you. Um, here's some Mendy. The leaf uh, stuffed the uh, potis into an unsanitary looking cabinet without a second glance. Clearly too angry. Here's some dragonfly wings. Leech takes the wings from the surprising delicate touch with a surprising delicate touch and lays them out carefully along the uh, along the surface of the clear shell. I wonder, Erin. Now I really must insist of the death certificate. There's no need to get prickly. I got your papers right here. The leech extended her moist arms and thrust a poorly written note into your hands. Uh, you shake the mucus off the papers and try and dis uh dis. Decipher the looping, uh, uh eligible, uh, irreadable. I mean to say that, uh, writing. Uh, you're not even sure that the leech spelled the poor damn main name right, but you suppose it's better than nothing. <sighs> Next time I need a doctor's note, I better forge the signature myself. Take it. Eee, we got it. Eee. I think I need it for the the woman, but I don't know. Do I need it? Offer the death certificate to the- Oh no, I need it to the one thing. Let's try to put it there and see what happens. I don't think so, but I think it'll just burn it and that's really it. Which I'm really confused on why. Um, I don't think I have everything else I need. Let me see. Do I have enough of this? Uh, no, I need pumpkins. But do I have enough of this? No, I need this thing. How do I get that thing? The green thing. Isn't this- it's the bugs. Oh, it's the weird bugs too, isn't it? I don't think so, but we can- No, it can't be that then. And I didn't get any earlier. What was it? What was it from? No. 
I wish it tells you what like it gives you or something like that. It makes it easier. Assault. Snails. Is was it right? No, it was a shell. That was it. What was it? Was it the plants and I chop it off? Hmm. I got a shiny stone. Don't need a shiny stone. I don't need leeches. What about this little new guy? I don't think I need that guy. Meat and stick. You want a meat and stick? Let me see what you give me. Come here. Eat it. This it is an eye of newt. Ew. And also I got more meat. Ew. I don't feel bad with that, I guess, but kind of they're really cute, so I can't really I don't know. I don't know how I feel no matter what, to be honest. Well I try to find it for this episode. I try to like fix the altar. I think I'm gonna skip the pumpkin though, so that's the only like problem. We don't even know how to like do the nail and stuff like that. It's gonna be shocking if I randomly find a nail and be like, oh my god. It's not what I thought at all. That's not what it is I need for right now at all. Um, let's smoke these guys. I know I can't. What is that that I need? Not that button. Thank you. It's in the full as well, too, though. So I think what I'm going to do is call it an episode after I put some stuff down into the, like, the altar so then I can like get rid of uh, my list so much. And I'll go off camera to get everything done. Or like not done, but like get everything that we need. And then uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and see what it has. I think my altar... It's right here, not the altar. Anyways, what is this? Nope. Not that one. The west? No, I need charm. The north? That's a different year. The humid uh, swamp air has made the paper of the death certificate soft and damp. As you drop it in the bowl, it dec uh, decompose before your eyes until nothing left. Ooh. The eastern upslick. I think. Uh, yearns for the tooth of a dragon. I did not have a dragon. So now I know it was the tooth of a dragon. And I'm not. No, I'm missing stuff because I didn't build it just yet. Yeah, because I don't have jack shit. Okay, cool. Got it. So I got one thing. Then soon, next episode, we'll have the three. Well, we're going to have two off camera. And then on camera, we're going to try our best to figure out how to get hell to do the dragon. We'll get to dra uh, collect a drake uh, f f thing. From the swamp so i don't know how to collect that so in the future we'll see that anyways i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>